Hello everyone, this is Wilson again. Welcome back to Bumblebee's presentation. Today, I'm going to share something about Bunsen burner. So, I'm going to talk about the two different frames from the Bunsen burner. So, let's get started. So, when we close the color of the Bunsen burner, it will generate a diffusion frame. So, just like that in the pictures. So we will have some yellow flames and we will have a shaking we will have a shaking shape. So what is the diffusion flame? So diffusion flame is occurred when the fuel gas and oxygen are transported into the reaction zone due to the concentration differences. So this type of diffusion flame is just like the normal flame we can see in our world in our life just like a candle. A candle is also a diffusion flame. So when the fuel gas and oxygen are transported into the reaction zone, so we can we can see the the boundary of the flame. So the boundary of the flame is called the reaction zone. So the fuel gas is located inside the boundary and the oxygen is just in the ambient envelope. So when the fuel gas and the oxygen, the oxygen in the environment and the fuel gas inside the flame reach to the reaction zone, which is the flame boundary, so it will start to accord some flame in the in the boundary. So we can see a yellow flame and shaking yellow, yellow flame here. So how about when we open the collar? So when we open the collar, we will generate a premix frame. So the frame color is turned to blue, and the shape will turn to very stable and not and do not have a shaking movement. So the premix frame is occurred when the fuel gas and air are first mixed before the addition or the propagation occurred. So when we open the collar of a Bunsen burner, the fuel gas will supply through this pipe and and then go through the metal is it called metal metal cylinder. So the fuel will go up through the metal cylinder. So when we open the collar, the air can move into the metal cylinder and then mix with the fuel. So in this time the air and the field will be mixed together before the ignition and propagation of the flame occurred in, in the, on top of the metal cylinder. So this type of flame it will be called premix flame. It will have a blue colors and very stable shape. So what is the differences between the diffusion flame and premix flame? So the first one the first two I have mentioned before, so the first one is the flame shape. So if we have a diffusion flame which is close the corner of the Bunsen burner, it will have a shaking flame shape. So just like that, it will shaking and moving. And then for the premix flame, which is a close, it will generate by close the corner, it will have a very stable flame shape. So it turns out very stable and the flame will do not move and will not shake it. For the flame color, for the, the view, diffusion flame will have a yellow color and the premix flame will have a blue color. So why there is a color differences between these two types of flame? It is because of the oxygen. Maybe I will tell you about this phenomena be in the in the later presentation. So for the combustion efficiency, the diffusion flame is relatively low, and the premix flame will, will have a relative high combustion efficiency. So when you in when you're doing some experiment, maybe you you have to borrow some water. The teacher will tell you to open the air cooler to generate a premix flame. It is because the premix flame will have a higher combustion efficiency so that it can burn or it can 
yes, it can burn the water to boring more faster by comparison to the diffusion frame. Diffusion frame will have a less combustion efficiency, so it will burn the water to borrowed in a yeah so you required to have so if you use the diffusion flame to borrow a water you require more time to burn it so we prefer the pmx frame to burn something just like you cook food so this is the end of my presentation thank you